Yo guys, what's up, it's Crips, and welcome to another Destiny Fashion video. So today I'm going to be showing you the new Guardian game set that came out for this year. And I'll be showing you um, across all three characters. As you can see, I have the Hunter one. I've gone and purchased the Warlock and the Titan. So I have split this video into segments. So if you want to skip to whichever set you want to see, then go ahead. I'll basically be showing you the armor set with a few shaders and telling you if it's worth it or not. So if you're new to the game and don't know, you can go to the events tab in the store and as you can see here it's the contender set for each class and basically you can either purchase this for 1500 silver which is with real money or you could purchase it for 6000 bright dust for each set so anyways moving straight into the hunter set so as you can see here just ignore the weapons and all the other cosmetics as i'm just showing the armor here um, the main highlight for this is 100 percent the cloak it's got a really nice patterning as it goes like a bright glow at the top and then just slowly fades out to the symbol. But the great thing about this set compared to the last year's set is that these are fully shaderable. As you can see here, the full set is shaderable and it still keeps that nice patterning depending on the colour. So it's just really nice overall to get if you want a fully shaderable set. So as you can see with the armour, um, something you might want to pair with this set is more glow pieces. So Empyrean could work, but unfortunately there is an unshadable gold. Some other sets you could possibly use with this would be the Virtuous, this was from Season of Dawn. This is probably one of the best ones you could probably match with this set. And then the Celestial is also another good one to match from this season's Eververse. I'll show all the mixture of pieces now, but you basically just want to match the glow of other pieces. Now there is a slight glow on the helmet as you can see here on the visor. There's a silver that comes over, it's got a still glow piece. This is also shaderable by the way. So as you can see, depending on what shader I use, it changes color. And yeah, I just recommend again, more glow pieces from the exact same set. Uh, the Canis Luna doesn't work too good. But again, I would just recommend trying to go with more glow on the pieces. As for me with this set in a fashion set, I pretty much only use the cloak and try and match every other piece as much as possible with a glow with the virtuous and celestial pieces. So anyways guys, I just wanted to quickly show you what I was talking about with the armor. Um, the Assassin's Cowl works perfectly well with this cloak and here's some other glow pieces I like so use the Virtuous set on the arms and boots then the Celestial Ornament on the chest plate but yeah as you could see on close inspection with the cloak from the event on and the Assassin's Cowl it works perfectly well together and I think it's just a perfect combo if you are looking for a nice cloak with the Assassin's Cowl. So anyways, I'm going to be showing off some quick shaders now that I think would look really good with this set. But I will be making videos throughout this week for more shaders. So this is Monochromatic here from Bright Engrams. Uh, this is really nice, offers a really bright white on the cloak as you can see. And keeps a nice black and white dyed pattern in. Golden Trace is a bit like Monochromatic but instead of the white it is gold. Uh, this looks really cool on the cloak especially and this is also from Bright Engrams. Precursive X Chrome offers a nice blue to the cloak so if you are looking for a nice blue then you could use this shader. Amphis Veil offers a really nice purple and this is from Bright Engrams. A really bright purple and then the armor is blue and black but really I'd mainly use this for the cloak. Carbon Blood is a very popular shader. This offers a white with a red rim going around the cloak here and pretty much it just goes white and red on the armor. Bassinian Gold, something a lot of people have been using recently, pretty much offers dark colors throughout the set and then offers a nice bright red. Big Knees and Knight, the one I was most excited for, unfortunately doesn't work very well on this armor here because of the textures it uses, but on the cloak it offers a really cool purple. Dream and Spectrum is a really nice one on both the armor and the cloak, as you can see here. Metro Shift is another nice one to use. So I would highly recommend this if you do not have Amethyst Veil. Vale. And then my personal favourite of mine is Benevolence of Nine, which was from Trials of Nine in year one. But it gives a really unique look to the armour. So yeah, I would highly recommend this set if you really like the cloak here and the helmet. The helmet can work very nice with loads of sets. Um, I'll show you all now quickly a cloak that you can like try and pair it with. As you can see here, you can change up the cloak and it'll still look really nice. Um, as for the other pieces in terms of the armor, I'd pretty much only use the cloak and the helmet. The arms you could try and pull off in other sets, um, although they're like very basic, they don't offer any glow. So that's something you want to point out and that is the same for both the chest plate and the boots. But yeah, this gives me like sort of racing vibes, uh, like a racer outfit and it just does look extremely cool and I would say it's 100% worth a buy. So now anyways, moving on to the Titan set as you can see in game. Another highlight again is the class items. For all three classes, the class item is pretty much the thing that stands out the most. 
and it's very nice to see a glowing mark because we never really get this with the Titan having a full glow mark and I think it's something that's very unique to this set. So needs again, ignore the cosmetics but as for the armor, um, this doesn't look too bad, it's a bit bulky as I am on a male titan. So with the torso here, it's a lot larger than traditional titan chest plates. It's actually been like the moonfang size in terms of width, so this doesn't look too bad. And like with the hunter, again, this is fully shaderable, doesn't matter what colour you're seeing here, they made it so that it can fully shader with anything and that's absolutely amazing to see. And throughout all three sets, they are going to keep up this dot pattern in, which I think is quite unique. So yeah, I don't know if, how I feel though about the helmet. It is a bit roundish and flat on the top. I don't think I like it too much. Um, it could work with like a big juggernaut set. Obviously really cool glow though coming down. And obviously on the benevolence helmet, this is barely visible. So probably darker ones like this could probably stand out more. Or like Metro. Uh, the Giza Knight actually doesn't look too bad with this. Although, like I said, with the textures they're using on this armor, the Giza doesn't stand out as much as it does on other armor. So as for like using these other pieces on this set, um, the boots, I'll just look over these quickly, but they're not too bad. Uh, they're very basic. That's the only issue that I find with a lot of these other pieces where the glow isn't. It tends to be for both the Titan and the Hunter set that the class item and the helmet tend to be the standout points. And then all the rest of the other pieces are sort of like quite basic with how they look. Um, this can work though in a set, like I said, you don't want to go something crazy with these. Um, most of this actually doesn't shade a light with a lot of like the bright shaders. Although here we have War Weary, it does go a nice almost all white. So anyway, she the arms, they're not too bulky which is quite nice to see. And on a female, I'm pretty sure it'd be quite slim, which is going to be nice for a lot of people doing like the big bulk sets. Now obviously these arms ain't like the Lectus or the Siege Break where they fully stick out but they do offer some nice slight bulk to them if you do like a bit of the bulk. And again keeping up with the patterning, um, it doesn't look too bad like I said I don't know if it's going to work with a lot of gear except from this torso, um, you could try mixing it with other pieces but again looking at other sets I could work with this, um, I actually might see the Lux being a good mixture with this set. Uh, the Celestial I don't know too much as you can see here, it's a bit odd with the chest plate here and then like we have Lucent and Knight here, um, this might work um, but I can definitely see the Virtuous pieces working very well with this set. I think you should definitely try some of these out um, as they could definitely pull off some very unique looks. So here's a very quick set I made with the Golden Trace, so I want to show you all this as, as you can see with the Hip Wider Ornament on the Dune Marches. With a golden glow, this can look really cool. And then I paired it with the celestial chest plate, which doesn't look too bad. And also the virtuous arms, which I think work really well with a lot of the pieces, as this is sort of what you want to be going for with this set. But yeah, that is pretty much what I want to show you for the armor. So we're going to move on to some shaders for the Titan set. So again, these are the shaders I showed off for the Hunter. Um, I will be making a more extensive shaders video in the next coming days for each of these sets. Anyway, she's monochromatic from Bright Ingrams. Uh, it's not look too bad, although it does have really bad texture throughout all the gear, so I wouldn't really recommend this for the armor. Golden Trace, as you can see, does the same carbon fiber texture. I don't know if this isn't as bad on this one, so you could get away with this. And again, the glass item glows gold, and the helmet, which are both like for me the highlight pieces for the Hunter and the Titan set. Then we have Precursor, another one from Bright Ingrams. Um, again, offers a nice blue. Um, I actually really like the helmet for this, very unique and could make some really cool sets with it. Amethyst Veil, uh, probably one a lot of people are going to use with this, is a really nice dark and purple. Carbon Blood, which is sold in Bright Dust Store, uh, possibly one of the best red shaders in the game and obviously offers a nice white glow with it. Bassinian Gold, one that a lot of you have been using recently and just dark with a nice red. This looks extremely nice on the helmet. The Giza Knight doesn't look as bad on this character than it did on the Hunter. The chest plate looks alright, but again, like I said, you probably have pairing this with Celestial or something else which adds some more of glow to it. And then Dream and Spectrum which offers like a nice little bright gold. This was from the Last Wish Raid. Then there's Metro Shift, which is like Amethyst but a bit dimmed down in terms of the glow. And I want to show the Benevolence as this is one of my favourite shaders in the game. And then War Weary which is a nice white and orange, obviously a nice bright white glow and this is from this season's Salvage Salvo Vanguard quest. So again, very much like the Hunter, 
the class item in the helmet is really going to be the breaking point for this set whether you want to purchase it or not unfortunately you will not be able to buy them separately so you will just have to you know commit to the full set and I would definitely say this is worth it considering it's fully shadable even though the boots and arms ain't the best they've made they can still work in so many sets because of how shadable they are but yeah overall it's I would highly recommend getting this as the mark is something we've never seen before as well as the helmet uh, this type of shape for a helmet has never been seen and this glow visor is very neat so if you do like this i would say just get it while you can before it's gone so now moving on to the third and final set for the warlock uh, it's a bit dark in game so we're just going to go straight into the character screen but unlike the titan and hunter where i'd recommend getting it for the helmet and the class item i recommend actually getting it for the robes and the class item as with this one the robes look absolutely incredible as you can see here up close we have a uh, cutlass here which is very nice and also a small whip as we can see and these both glow as well so it obviously as i'll show you now with different shaders this can look absolutely incredible to match with and then as well as this we have a really cool eagle on the bond it's very small but it's really cool how they've designed this and this again would obviously fully shader with anything that you use something i did actually forget to mention was that on the chest plates of all the sets there is the guardian games logo this can actually not go depending on like what shader you're using you can try and black out with some shaders with this you can try and hide as much as you can with different shaders but this uh this is slightly visible throughout all sets no matter what now i will get into one issue with this robe um when we go into the shaders in a bit but as for the armor upon first inspection the helmet is a nothing too incredible uh, they're definitely better helmets in the game this doesn't look too bad though um, i'd probably try and match something more glow like with the helmet like the celestial could work really nicely uh, this is in this season at first and i've also made a video on this in the channel uh, the reason why this could work so well is because of the feathers here matching with the bond it's a nice match and as well as this i'm going to show you these arms because they're extremely basic and uh, literally just this on both sides is nothing like flashy at all so again celestial here it is um, can definitely work with this i'm oh, sorry here we go and it has that feather as you can see down here i'll pull this out of inspection now and it has this feather pattern in again which would match with the bond so if you are looking for alternatives uh, to mix with this the celestial set is just by far one of the best sets you can pair the another nice one is virtuous and it's a nice little glow although the patterning on the leg here isn't really that good so yeah if i was you all and you were trying to make a nice set with this i would 100 percent recommend the celestial set for you all uh, this is just the absolute perfect match even with just the bond if you're just using a bond you can even make it work with the celestial set um, but the robes is very special here offering some very unique glows some items here and this very nice patterning going along the back as well so now moving on to the shaders um, one of the big issues I found with these robes with some of the shaders that worked on the other sets like monochromatic worked on the Titan and the Hunter but for some reason on the Warlock the glow just completely disappears and the only issue with this is that we get these floating handles because uh, the cutlass got removed its glow as well as the whip if you did want to try and find a shader that makes this glow disappear um, you can use monochromatic but i wouldn't really recommend it as you have just these floating handles which don't look that good with it and the really unique points of this set is the glow so yeah i'd really not recommend any shaders that dim the glow or actually get rid of it so again here is golden trace another issue we have here is the fact that the glow is gone but on the other two sets it still showed so I don't know if this is a bug on Bungie's end or if this is just how it shaders. Anyways, here is Recursive X Chrome. Something weird I spotted though is the fact that the glow on the other two sets went blue with Precursor and then on this set it goes white. So yeah, you just have to be very careful with what shaders you're using. Amethyst Veil works quite well with this, offering a nice dark purple. Although it isn't like very, very bright like it is on the others, it still comes out quite well. Carbon Blood offers a white glow like usual. Uh, this is probably one of the best shaders to use on this set and offers a really nice like, gradient with these dots. Abyssinian Gold goes like almost a full black on the robes and this is probably what a lot of people are going to be using to make it like a red glow of black. Uh, but it, it doesn't even show much to the brown at all which is perfect, only really on the helmet. So I'd highly recommend this if you're looking for a dark look. Geezer Knight works quite well on the robes here again. 
um, like I said earlier with the other two classes the textures didn't really work well with the shader whereas on this one it's mainly cloth so it works very nicely with these nice purples coming throughout and we have Dream and Spectrum offering some nice colours again here works perfectly well with the set and actually works not too bad with the helmet that's something I just quickly spotted is that depending on what shader you are using as you can see here it's like a light blue then when I switch to Metro it goes like a full black that's a nice little detail there as well we have three more shaders so we have old gun metal uh, this looks quite nice obviously like a grey to almost black with a white glow then we have Warbury from this season's salvages salvo quest for the vanguard ornament um, obviously nice white and orange you can make like a really cool like sun braces solar set with this and then my final one i want to show is one of my favorites is benevolence obviously nice black to white gradient with a nice cyan blue glow so yeah i would only recommend this if you wanted the bond and the robes and if you do already own the celestial set then i would 100% recommend getting this so you can match the boots and the helmet really well with this as well as the arms if you want to so yeah that's pretty much the video um, so for the Titan or Warlock I just recommend getting the helmet and the class item and then for the Warlock I'd recommend getting the bond and the robes. Uh, the only issues I've really seen with this set is that on the other pieces they're a bit too generic that if you were to buy them just for the other pieces as well I don't think they would really flow well with other sets in the game. For all three of the sets there's only really two pieces for each which I'd highly recommend and if you find it's worth it then I'd 100% recommend buying it while you can as if you do miss out on buying it during this event, you will have to wait until next year's event to be able to purchase them. So yeah guys, I tried getting this video out as quick as I could. I really do hope this helps in helping you decide which set to buy or which set to go for during the event. Thank you all so so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I'll also be making the same sort of video for the next Eververse set coming next season. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you on the next video.